This is a fully 3D printed sneaker and it's the most futuristic sneaker in the world. Now I'm gonna wear these things for 30 days straight. Now this is actually gonna be pretty tough for me because uh, as you guys know, I love sneakers. Like I have over a hundred pairs in my collection which I love to rotate on a daily basis. So wearing one pair of shoes for 30 days straight is pretty tough. But if this sneaker is actually going to be the future of shoes, I have to find out how they hold up to extreme wear. I guess the first day begins in three, two, one. Before I go completely thrashing these things, here's what they look like brand new, fresh out of the box. So you can see a baseline for how they look because uh, I definitely plan on thrashing these things. You also may be wondering to yourself, what makes this the world's most futuristic sneaker? Well, it's because it's 100% 3D printed. 3D printed shoes, although initially it sounds pretty crazy, it has loads of potential. Like the fact that this sneaker is fully recyclable, once you're done wearing it, you send it back to the company and they can just break it down and start making new pairs with the material. Every single pair is custom made to your foot. In fact, when I ordered my pair, I literally scanned my foot on an app in order to find the right size. There's also no sweatshops, which is a massive benefit. 3D printed so a machine makes it. And they can also be made a lot quicker than a traditional pair of shoes. Like for example, that time that Zellerfeld actually produced a pair of shoes for Kanye West in his fashion show. I think Kanye West came to them with a deadline of a weekend and they managed to have the pair of shoes ready. Whereas like a traditional boot would take months to design and produce. Either way, all of this for right now is just potential because we need to find out if they actually hold up to real life usage. So my plan for this week is to just take them through my daily routine, how I would normally wear a pair of shoes, except I'm only going to be wearing one pair of shoes. And then we're going to be kicking things up every single week. And that final week, I've got some crazy things planned. So let's get to it. All right, time for an update. So take a good look at these things. This is uh, a week in now, to be fair, this week I haven't done anything that extreme. For the most part, this week I've been wearing these things every day to the gym. They've been pretty solid. Although I wouldn't actually recommend running in these things because they are pretty heavy. They also don't have laces. So it's not the most tight and secure fit on your foot. In fact, I'm still finding them extremely comfortable. And every day when I go downstairs and I see these things sat by the door, I'm, I'm kind of hyped to put them on because they're so comfortable. Now, other than the gym this week, honestly, I've been working quite a lot trying to catch up from work that I missed out when I was in LA. So obviously, Obviously me working is pretty much here around the house. I've been running errands and uh, going on a few walks. And almost every time I leave the house in these things, someone asks me about them. And when I tell them that this is a 3D printed sneaker, they're completely fascinated and surprised. And actually a couple of them asked to try them on, which was pretty hilarious. So yeah, this 3D printed technology is definitely something that most people haven't seen before. So that's kind of fun being able to show them off to people. But in summary, for the first week, I would say they're super comfortable. They are still holding up pretty well. But that's the end of week one. So it's time to kick it up a notch. Week two, we're gonna try and put some miles in these bad boys. So the first kind of terrain that I took them to is the farm. So as you can see, today I'm probably gonna be walking at least a good few miles. Yeah, we'll see how these things hold up if they start rubbing, hurting my feet. We've also got this massive field over here. You gotta step in it as part of the video. Wait, you gotta. <laughs> to do some parkour them shoes holding up for a hike would you recommend so far so good surprisingly i don't have any ankle rubbing so it's a uh, heavy grass a bit of mud and there's also cow shit so i'm out here dodging cow shit in these things we've got uh, a really long stretch i'm gonna put some miles in these things i was thinking sand would be a great durability test you know see if you can take these things to the beach basically i think 3d printed shoes are going to get clogged up with a bunch of sand in them but but uh, of course we'll find out. So we, uh, we walked all the way to this end and now we're going to walk all the way back to that, uh, that mountain over there in a mixture of dry and wet sand. So far they're holding up all right. It's been about two weeks and these things are still looking not too bad to be honest for the amount I've worn these things. They're still looking relatively new. So we need to start kicking it up a notch. So I brought them to uh, this haunted forest. And we're gonna go through a bunch of different terrains out here. I might even put them through the old uh, bear attack test. Who knows? You know, I got them on feet so you can see me walking around. Yeah, we need all kinds of different terrains. And I'm hearing noises. You hear that? You hear noises? Oh, That's it's a just bird. a bird. Okay, we good. All right, well, on we go. Deep into the forest now. 
I can feel some of this water getting inside of these things. This is the most disgusting water. Oh, okay, okay, no. Okay, the water is definitely getting in from underneath. This is what I'm walking in. Hey, we made it out of here. There she is. All right, well, we made it back to the car. I'll find out myself how wet or dirty my socks are. Oh. oh, it only came through at the front, really. No, look all underneath. There's a rock stuck in there. Gone through the shoe, it's Ooh. gone through my sock. You're not supposed to drive there for that. On to the next challenge. This is what they look like. I've really tried to put these things through as much crazy wear as possible. You see there's mud, sand, and a bunch of gravel all over them. According to Zellerfeld, you don't need to wash these things like normal shoes. You can literally just throw them in a washing machine and apparently they're back to brand new. I'll be the judge of that and we'll do that at the end of the video. And after weeks of walking miles in these things through every type of terrain possible, I need to step things up. Because if I'm really gonna test these things to their limits, it's time to get a bit more extreme. All right, so next test. Came out to play some football, but I forgot my actual football boots. So we're rocking the 3D printed shoes. So let's find out what they're like to play a bit of football in. <laughs> they're so grippy. Every time I shoot, my foot falls out of it. All right, Dylan's gonna give him a test. See what you think. They're, they're soft because get, they're getting heated in the sun. <laughs> All right, well that concludes the uh, football test. I think it's pretty safe to say these are probably not ideal. Pretty much because of the same reasons why you wouldn't run in them. Like I said, they're super heavy and uh, because they're slip-ons, they slip off. I think next test will do an extreme hot and cold. All right, on to the next one. So we've done all of the walking tests, the wearing tests. We now need to do a material test, right? This is a 3D printed shoe, which not too many people know too much about the actual material that they use in these things. So we got to test it out. So let's start with a crease test with the Tesla. Do. Let's put it there. Damn, you could not even tell. We really gotta crease these things. Okay. Oh, nothing. Brand new. You reckon that will have any? It's fine. Damn. Okay, next test is gonna be extreme temperature. If they heat up, are they gonna expand and feel too loose on foot? They're hot. <laughs> Anything? They look okay. Ah, they smell a bit. They smell a bit melty. Swipe powder on it. Maybe this will. Damn, they didn't melt though. Okay, so extreme heat. They held up so far. I'll pull it from there. <laughs> I'm gonna cram. All right, so they survived the fire and they seem pretty much perfectly fine. Nothing. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but they're perfectly fine. Let's go. Let's go one more round. Oh shit! <laughs> no. <laughs> right. So now you know you can't use a lawnmower on it. I thought they were completely fine, and then I saw this. Damn, it's quite a perfect cut though. Look at look at the layers that you can see. That's pretty interesting though. I think they're still perfectly wearable, even though they are a little bit. Uh, 
cut. Which one has the cut? To be fair, you can't really see it, but you can see it when you move here. Yeah. It's like walking around, you wouldn't be able to tell. We've got one more test left. We did the heat and we found out that they hold up reasonably well. In fact, after the heat, I couldn't really tell that they had melted at all. They look perfectly fine. So what about freezing them? Straight in the freezer, I'm gonna leave them there overnight and we're just gonna see what they're like in the morning. 24 hours later. All right guys, it is the next day. In fact, it's been a full 24 hours. Let's see what the hell they're going to look like. Oh man, they are stiff. I mean, they're still movable. Man, these things feel stone cold. All right, so here they are fresh out of the freezer freezer for 24 hours at least. Let me see if I can give them a twist. No crunching. You can see some ice building up on the inside of it. And there's still some sand from when I went to the beach. Let's see if they're, if they'll tear. <sighs> Nope, they're still fine. These things are crazy durable. That is wild. They've survived. According to Zellerfeld, the company that made them, you don't have to scrub them. You don't have to do anything crazy. You throw them in the washing machine and then they're brand new. Let's get these things cleaned up. I started the wear test on April the 27th and today, the final day is May the 27th. It's been pretty wild, but these shoes will just not die. Now, after throwing them in the washing machine, letting them dry outside, they pretty much look brand new. There's definitely some marks and probably if I scrub these things harder, they would look even better. I mean, even the slice from the lawnmower hardly looks noticeable and, until you kind of press it together. All in all, they've been one of the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn throughout the entire 30 days. So the question is, will 3D printed shoes really be the future?